You cannot do anything wrong. You cannot burn this dish. I mean, if you burn this or ruin this recipe, you have problems <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, you guys are in for a great treat today. It is my grandfather's roast pork. I not only think this is the best sandwich in Philadelphia, I think this is one of the best sandwiches in the world. Uh, and I'm not the only one to say that. We've been awarded the James Beard Award. Andrew Zimmern from Bazaar Foods, he held the cheesesteak in one hand and said, this is definitely the best cheesesteak that I've ever eaten. And then he held the pork in the other hand and he said, but this, this is one of the top three sandwiches I've ever eaten in my whole life. My grandfather, he took it from Abruzzi, Italy when he immigrated in 1918, opened a small wooden shack and sold his roast pork and meatballs out of that wooden shack from 1930 until my parents took it over. Um, the gravy is extracted from the pork when we slow roast it for six, seven hours and then we slice it nice and thin, tenderizes in its gravy, then we make a nice, nice sandwich. This is a four-day process that we've cut down into 20 minutes. Okay, and it's important to get these little pieces. All these little pieces are all seasonings, and plus my mother would kill me. You don't, you don't waste anything. Okay, we get the sharp provolone. If you didn't put on the bottom, the gravy would hit the bread and then it would all fall apart. I really don't know what it is about this pork recipe. It creates an incredible aroma and a combination of flavors that come together like no other food I've ever really eaten. I make sandwiches at the shop every single day and I love doing it. It's the only thing I really do well. <laughs> That's the beautiful roast pork Italian that people come from all over the world now to eat. Really good. I'm so honored that I'm able to bring my family's roast pork recipe to you. The way we share it with our family and enjoy it, you guys can enjoy it with your family. <laughs>